Okay then, nice easy one. We've just got to work out the mean then for this table of data. And so to work out the mean then, we should know that this is sigma, the sum of all our x values then divided by however many we've got, however many observations then. So when you come to add these all up, okay, you should find that you get 2757, okay, 2757, and the number of values that we've got is 12. So just very simple, work that out in your calculator, you'll find that you get 229.75, okay? And you might want to round that up, you, you could say to three significant figures, it's up to you, but it is an exact answer. So it seems to be quite good this left like that but if you want to round it up let's say three significant figures that's going to be 232 3SF okay well that's the mean and then we're asked to calculate the standard deviation and to work out standard deviation let's just write it in here we should be familiar with the formulae and the best one to use in something like this is this one where you've got to do the square root let's just mark that in square root of sigma x squared sum of all our x squareds divided by n minus the mean all squared I'm going to call the mean x bar okay x bar squared so all we need to do is put our values in and we've got this value they gave it to us okay so we're going to have the square root then of 724961 all divided by 12 and then when it comes to the mean squared make sure you don't use the rounded version go for the unrounded so that's 229.75 and we just square that okay and if you work that out on your calculator, what you should find you get is 87.340449 and so on. And let's say we round that to say three significant figures, that's going to be 87.3 then to 3SF. Okay?